right, I am back. Apologies, apologies, a million apologies for the sudden break. The power went out in my estate on Friday last week and I couldn't upload any videos at all. It's just a little um um creative player video that I could upload. And that was like every other day, but it's back now. I am back now. Apologies once again, but we are back with the Conrad Zan Karimo. This is episode 14, and we are going to be starting as a 94 rated 18 year old in Manchester City. I can't believe that we're still 18. Though. Yeah, we're still 18. And also we have a new look. We have a couple tats on his left arm and his left leg. And then we also have a, a new hairstyle. We are still 18. Our birthday is going to be the December of this year. So we're going to turn 19 then. I mean, it's really, really crazy how good we are. We are even the highest rated player in this team as of now. Then we have Haaland, we have Rodri, we have Podium. The thing is, me and Haaland are both strikers so obviously we're going to be playing ahead of Haaland which is not really a good thing because I want Haaland to be in the game and then Foden is a right winger and the thing is we're left footed so I actually don't really want to play as a right winger but you know the way the game is they're not going to let um, Foden you know play if I play on that right wing he's not going to play at all like for the whole season so I mean unless I go out for a sub and all so the left winger is Savinho, so that is the person I would be replacing this team. So I am going to be making my pro a left winger. Oh yeah, let's take a look at his hair real quick as well. So this is what his hair looks like up close. He does, um, he grew out and he did, he made dreads out of it. So I'm going to be rocking this hairstyle for um, a while. Yes, we are a left winger and that actually took us up to a 95. Just changing to a left winger took us up to a 95. So we're 18. And we're going to be in Pep's Manchester, in Manchester City. So, I mean, he has yet another gem on his hand. So, we're going to have a bastardly good front three in Conrad Zan Jr., Erling Haaland, and Phil Foden. Phil Foden is currently on a 90. I think he's, I believe that he's going to grow to a 91, 92 by the end of the season. And that is just crazy. But our first match in the Manchester City jersey is going to be against Atletico Madrid. Um, Guardiola. What the fuck? Why are they saying his full name? <laughs> Pep announced the squad for upcoming match against Atletico Madrid and it looks like Zan is going to be a part of it. What can we expect? Of course, I'm going to be a part of it. I'm like, I don't even know how much I was bought for. I don't think they actually show my price tag. I really don't understand why the hell that is the case. Yeah, they actually don't. So I actually have no idea how much I'm worth. But sure, I think I can actually check it in here somewhere. My career, into my career. So we're worth 176. So let's say that we got bought for 176. That's not the record. I think Neymar is still the record transfer. So we have 95 goals. So we have just five goals we need to score to get to 100 goals in our career. 95 goals in 17 appearances is crazy, man. That is crazy work. I mean, what can you really expect from a player that is... Wait, why is there no volume? Oh, <laughs> I forgot that I wasn't wearing this. Uh, what can you really expect from a player that is 18 and already a 95 rated? That is, that is crazy. So I'm going to be playing the highlight of this match and I'm going to enhance the passes because I always do that for the playable highlights. So let's look at what we can do here against Atletico Madrid. This city team has to be like balling on all different levels. So I think I'm, I'm going to be focusing on getting the ball down to Haaland. So let's see if we can do that. First header, first assist and that is, it's just that easy. Is is legit going to be that easy in this Manchester City team? And next up, we have another crossing opportunity, and we have Haaland in the in the box again. I don't know if we're going to have like a lot of these. Let's get this out to Haaland, who will shoot. And I mean, Foden is still with the ball, and he just completely wastes that pass. I would like to believe that I was in a very good position there. He just like scuffs the pass a little bit. And now let's see what we can do. We can thread Haaland in here, and let's transport him. We are in. Nice. Nice. Oh, shit. I went too wide. I went too wide. Oh. Bro, that is crazy. The fact that we still got that. Yeah, our celebration is back. So I, I went back to it. But that is a crazy goal. I, I did not in the middle years think that I was going to score that. But anyways, 2-0 up. Or, or rather, 2-1. And let's see if we can get a really good pass here. Please come on. Please come on. I think we're already offside. I think we're offside with that. What the fuck is that pass? What the actual focus is that pass? And we have a 10 point match rating. That is insane. But I don't think we're going to carry that all the way to the end of the match. I'm going to try and give Haaland another um, assist here. I think I feel that. Oh, that's to him. Nice. All right, so we're still with the ball. We're offside. All right, so I probably should have made a run there. 
after I shot it, after I crossed it rather. All right, that's the end of the match. We win it 2-1. We get a goal. How long gets a goal? Exactly what I what I was already envisioning in this team because I feel like the two of us are going to like be the absolute duo. I mean, there's a trio in Pony, but man, I can't really wait to see how much the three of us can actually do in one season. We got a 10 point match rating. We got the man of the match yet again. So we're going to be enhancing one thing. And I think I'm going to go for my head in the crazy. So that is going to be up to 91. And I don't know. I think <laughs> uh, Japan is crazy. Uh, Japan is crazy to be honest. I don't know how far he is going to go. I don't know if it stops at 99, but I think it can actually get to 99. But um, next up, we have the match against Corona. I'm obviously going to be simulating this one. Second match in the American Challenge Cup and in a draw, we get a goal uh, along with Luke. I have no idea who the fuck that is, but I mean, it's still a goal for us nonetheless. Oh, so we have another playstyle option another playstyle yeah, another playstyle slot open oh, i don't know why english is being so bloody difficult right now so we have the incisive pass we have the long ball pass we have the chip shots all right so we are a we also have the acrobatic volleys and shit i don't think i really need that i don't think he really needs that um i don't know if i'm going to be making more two passes than all right so i think we will need to work on this instead. All right, so the last one, I'm probably going to like make this, um, maybe like the acrobatic volley or something like that. I'm going to attend a Q&A session real quick before the match against Real Sociedad. Oh, that was in the q and session. All right, so this, okay, I don't, I'm confused. All right, so it's a sponsored position, but it says Q&A session there. I have no idea why the hell this happens. And we still have another Q&A session. So, I mean, it's just a bug, to be honest, but starting a Duffy series about Manchester City. All right, so I think it's like kind of a Netflix series that we're going to be in. Publish an, an autobiography, that is good. And I think the last thing we're going to do here is the Q&A session, finally. All right, that is good. Then we have eight new messages from the agent. Not really interested in reading any of these. That is just another bug that I'm not interested in. So now is the match against the side. We won one and we drew one. I really like to win the last one. We do. We missed the penalty. We do score though. We get a brace in this match and Barrio gets a goal as well. So that's the first goal for Barrio in this season. With that, we already have four goals in this season. Four goals in three matches and we are doing everything that we need to do. So I think we have just one more. If I'm not wrong, we have just one more goal to get to 100. So, oh no, it doesn't count. The, okay, so the preseason goals don't count so i mean we're still on five so i mean i would like to get to a hundred goals for this episode i think that is very very likely i mean in this Manchester city team it is more than likely next up we have our premier league debut and what is this though all right so this is a cutting of us being picked for the starting 11 all right so we did actually get this in any of the any of the bundesliga on starts I don't know why, but we finally get to the Manchester City, maybe because they're a really big team or something. I don't know. But we are going to be starting ahead of Savinho. And we actually look good with the hair, with the dreads and the tattoos. All right, so our first match in the um, Premier League is going to be against Leeds at the Elan Road. They're back in the Premier League, so that is good for them. But they are going to be sent right back down to hell in this match because, I mean, I don't really believe that. Why did I enhance that? I don't really believe that they're going to give Manchester City a run for, for our money. I think we're going to demolish them this match. And we probably might get five goals in this match if, if they're not careful with their defense. So, I mean, let's see what's going to happen. Can I come back on, on, on side? Nice. That's what I need. And just like that. We already have one shot on goal. I mean, I try, I told him to shoot there because I believe that he will be able to make that, that shot. All right, to so Haaland. And I don't know why he makes another shot there, but I mean, it's all good. Oh my god, that is a wild pass. That is a really wild pass, but I, I also can't believe I got that, but um, I, I don't know who that is, but he was able to... Okay, Haaland gets to me, thank you. Round. Nice. We see how the ball shoots. First goal, definitely. That is our first competitive goal for Manchester City, and that is exactly what I'm talking about. The defender almost caught us there, but that last chop, I mean, he wasn't able... I mean, he was already... He already committed to the tackle, and I once we got past him, there was no way we were going to be missing from there. Top right corner, or that top left corner, and Konradan has got his first competitive goal. We have four more goals to get to 100 goals, and I think we're going to be the fastest player to get to 100 goals in their career. I believe so. I mean, we're still 18. I don't think anybody has done that yet. But, I mean, I'll check... Out to Foden. Can he get this out to me? Can I shoot one time? I can, but the defender gets a block on that. 
How the hell did I miss that? It's actually crazy that I missed that. All right, so let's try to press once more. Oh my god, that's dangerous. And they collide just like that. How the hell does the defense let them even do that? That is, that is crazy. And I see Red Bull on their, on their kits as a sports or something. The restart and okay, folding. Nice. Oh my god. Score this, please. He does make a good shot. The keeper makes a good save there. That is a. I think that. Oh my god. He's gonna try to shoot it. Cross it back to me. Thank you. All right. Please get it back to me. Who is there? Holland. Can you score, Foden? Nice. Oh, he does make the goal. He does get the goal, rather. All right, so I didn't even need to attempt to shoot. I was actually calling for a pass because I wanted to like, shoot immediately from outside there. But apparently, I didn't need to. That is a good goal from Phil Foden. All right, please do, let, do not let him shoot. All right, so Ederson, that's good. Get this out to me real quick. Thank you. Much highly appreciated. Bardio, nice. All right, let's get on our bike here. Let's get on our bike here, and I don't understand how the hell... Holland? Oh my god, what did Holland do there? What the, what the hell did Holland do there? What the hell did Holland do there, though? Alright, that's the first half done and dusted. We are now in the second half. Let's look at what we can do. We go out wide. Come back. Alright. Oh no, please don't score this. Alright, that's a good save from Ederson. And that is another good catch from him as well. So, alright, I'm more in a good position. Oh, I am, actually. Holland, to me, it's not a very good pass, is it? Damn. Okay, Holland, back to me. Thank you. Not a very good pass. If I, if you, okay. Back. Nice. Trevella. And it wasn't a Trevella. Why was it not a Trevella? That was like the surest way to get a goal there, to be honest. All right. So we give it to Gluck. He gets it back to me, and I will try to score from here. The keeper makes a very good save. Nice. All right. So what can we do here? Get it back to me. Trevella, definitely, and the keeper. All right. So I was being hell to you there. Holland was through, kind of. I could have just slotted him to him. I could have just slotted it to him. Jesus Christ. Okay. Hang it out to me. Nice. Oh, we're in. We're in, right? We're in. Definitely, and that is two goals to our name in our first match in Manchester City against Leeds, and that is that is such a good goal. I honestly thought that I overran it there, but that was such a good pass. I don't know who that is. I think his name is Gluck, but that was such a good pass from him, though. All right, nice. Get it out to me, please. Oh my God, that's brilliant. Alan, please tell me you're there. Thank oh this he was just there to intercept that. All right, so this is our cue to get out of the match, basically. And we are being subbed on, sub off for Doku. And we got a 10 point match rating that is good. And we got a brace in our in our Premier League debut, just like Haaland. But let's see how this match ends. I'm pretty sure that we, yeah, we still get the win. It's a 3 1 win overall. We get a brace, Fodi gets a goal. I don't think we got an assist in that match there, but um, we failed two objectives, score at least one goal from outside the box. That is just crazy. I mean, I don't think I'm really interested in any of that. And uh, we have already have a couple teams interested in us. Uh, teams that I'm not really interested in going to. Liverpool might be nice, but I mean, like I said, I'm not going to any other teams after this Manchester City move. We have another really easy fixture. Manchester City versus Hull City. I mean, I don't really see any way that we're going to lose this match. I'm going to be simulating it though. So, I mean, there's a chance that we might lose it. But I mean, if we do, that's just going to be crazy from EA. And what do you know? We actually draw the match. We actually draw the freaking match against freaking Hull City at the Etihad. I mean, we do get our Etihad debut goal. So, that is really nice. So, we have three goals in two games in the Premier League already. That is good. Wait, I just saw something crazy in the news. I saw your Kerez is, is now... In our team in city eucharist agents have you following much trusty transfer as their client will be on a 180k weekly wage all right so what how is he going to play like no chill listen how is he actually going to play because i don't see i don't see pep playing him over Haaland at all in any match maybe like in the cup matches or something like that but i mean it's still crazy that we that pep actually bought eucharist of all people to buy all right so we have um international matches in a bit so let's look at the calendar real quick um, after the Manchester City match, we have Iceland and then we have um, Scotland. It's actually European, the Euro qualifiers, that is good. Then we have the, the match against Arsenal next. I think I'm going to play 
um the match against arsenal and then we're going to start the champions league match against leipzig in the next episode that's actually salzburg not not leipzig so i don't know if i want to be obsessed over yet another um 100 record but we have one right now i mean it's just two matches in and i'm really not i don't want upset about it the way i did last season but i mean if it happens it happens i'm not even going to talk about it after after now but if we do get it by the end of the season then i mean it's going to be crazy but i mean i doubt we're in the freaking premier league i doubt it's going to happen all right we're starting with a counter attack and i'm going to get this out to Foden, and that is a good cross let's hope that oh shit oh shit uh i overrun it a little bit there to holland and why on earth would you shoot in that situation bro that is crazy anyway we have a solo run and okay holland is in a good position so we can actually like just slot this into him and please score it finally oh my god that is bullying he bullied the bloody keeper there oh my god I don't really need to see him hug Pep, so I'm just going to skip that real quick. Next up, we have a an attack, and we are with the ball here. So, cut inside. Haaland. Oh shit! What the hell was that pass? I mean, it wasn't even directed at Haaland at all, and I, I I wanted to give it to Haaland. That is weird as fuck. All right, so we have another attack here, and uh, let's just try and get this to Haaland yet again. And it's not it's not very good, but well, let's try and call what the hell all right we still have a chance here trivella maybe and the keeper makes a good save there so we have a crossing opportunity here and we are in such a weird position Haaland, please stay on side please score this definitely all right so that is two assists for conrad zan in this match i'm pretty sure that we are why is he going to hug pep over and over again i'm pretty sure that, that is going to be the case we're going to be getting assist after assist well this is the last um match and let's see if we can assist Haaland like three times out of three in this match uh we can't sadly Bardio maybe no all right so I think yeah that is the end of the match there all right so it's a 2-0 win and we assisted twice with Haaland and that is a good a good match all right I know that I said that I wouldn't talk about it but that is such a relief that we are we have lost the 100% record already in just the third match but um, we still got the man of the match again and we got a 10 point match rating again so i mean we're going to be working on this right now we are a winger right now so let's work on our crossing our crossing gets to 90 percent or the 90 and uh, next match is going to be the international fixtures against iceland all right so this is what our champions league fixtures are going to look like we have ajax salzburg fc porto i have no idea what that team is we have dortmund we're going to be going up against our old team that is mental <laughs> That is mental, but we have Nice, Juventus, and Atletico Madrid. Okay, so that is a really, really tough um, set of fixtures, but I feel like we should be able to pull through those. All right, so first match in the Euro qualifiers ends as a 3 0 win to us. We score along with Musiala and, and Julian Brandt. All right, the couple things that we're going to do we're working for work with an artist on a book for kids, but I think we. I don't even know what the hell that is. I mean, I click on one thing, but like the, the other thing happens. We get the player of the month yet again. Thank your fans for all their messages of congratulations. I think I will do that. Next up, we have the match against Scotland and we win it again. Do we score? No, we don't score this time. Ram gets a brace, Sonny gets a goal as well. The good thing is that we do win the match. I need to look at the table real quick. The Premier League table, we're currently second position, which is weird because um i can't believe crystal palace is going to be in first right now that is just i just crazy but that's good for them as well in the euro qualifiers um this is bugged but let's see if that gets fixed no it doesn't it doesn't get fixed so i mean i don't really care to look at it anymore but right now we have a big match against arsenal we are second they are sixth if i'm not wrong i think i saw six there yeah i did so arsenal is going to be the stage is set for a new clash in the manchester city arsenal rivalry as the two get ready for eagerly anticipated Premier League match. I'm an Arsenal fan, so I would kind of want Arsenal to win this match, but I would want to um to score. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm going to try my best to, to win the match for the team, which is Manchester City. I mean, I had the chance to go to Arsenal, but I picked City because Holland was there and Foden was there. I mean, there is there is um Saka in Arsenal. But I mean, I just want that ultimate front three with um, Haaland and, and Foden. And besides, majority of you in the comments from that last video said that I should go to City. So that's exactly what I did. So now, okay, um, not the highlights, the full match. So 
the front three is back in action again we bought javi simmons that is crazy all right i don't know who the hell kubasi is i don't know what the hell that defensive line is don't tell me we sold rodri please don't tell me we fucking sold rodri what the hell is wrong with this game all right so he's injured all right that's good for three weeks so he will be back which is a good thing so neither of us either arsenal or Manchester City are the top of the table but this is a fixture that might actually decide how the rest of the season goes in terms of who might lift the trophy and who might not but um let's have a dribble success rate of at least 30 percent and have that to 40 percent and let's see if we can get a win oh my god all right yes i actually restarted the game because i couldn't i, I was not going to try and play that much against a team like arsenal they have freaking valverde odegaard and declan rice in the midfield Anyways, I was not going to play that much, like, being confused as fuck in terms of the jerseys. So, alright, so we do have the ball straight off the bat. Haaland. Yeah. Um, I believe, um, Gabriel. And what's the other guy's name? Nice. Trivella immediately. And, oh shit, I think people saved that. People actually saved that. That is insane. Oh no, oh no. He's going to shoot. Oh no, oh my god. Trossard, that is a good save from Ederson. Jesus, oh, I don't know if we're going to win or lose this match, but I'm going to try my best from here. Come on, get it out to me, and I think we are through. I don't think... I don't think... Of course he's catching me. Of course he's freaking catching me. Of course, of course that fucking happens. They catch a freaking... You know what, let's not even bother about that. Can you get this to me? Brilliant. Um, the fact that I actually held L2 is what is freaking me out right now. Because, I mean, you would, you would think that they would do a freaking volley when you hold L2. But the game just decides to, to be a bitch sometimes. Oh my god, no. Please save this, someone. Oh god. Oh god, just pass it to me, thank you. Jeez. Holland, you're in. No, that was my bad. That was a mistake. That was a... Oh, 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 oh. And he goes near post. Why would he go near post? Nice interception. Come on, don't freaking stress me right now. Get it back to me. Holland, come on. You could do so much better than that. They're still back at it again. And that is another really good interception from whoever that is. Ederson, please get it out to me ASAP. Let's get it back to the defender. We don't get... Oh my god, we're injured. Oh my fucking god, we're injured. Alright, I think I think we can walk that off. I think we can just walk that off, basically. Let's hope that that is the case. Let's see if we can walk it off till the second half. No. That's a good save from Ederson. Oh my god. Oh my god, no fucking hell, man. Of course, I mean, they were pressing so much. So, I mean, that is something that was eventually going to happen. These guys are beginning to irritate me. These lower players in this team. Like, what the hell are they doing? Nice. What the hell are they doing, actually? Like, if you think about it, what the hell are they doing? That is such a good save from, Ever from Ederson. Point blank. Point blank range, and he got a glove on it. We are not doing really well in this first half. We are injured as well. So I'm really hoping that after the first half, are we still going to be injured? What the hell is going on? Yeah, we're still injured. So we're going to get ourselves subbed out. Because um, that, is, that is not good. Can we get this out of Foden? We can. Can we? No, we can't. We still have the ball here. Trevella. No. Oh, crap. All right, so that is just wasted. But we still have a chance. Nice. Can we shoot? We can. And the keeper makes a really brilliant save there. I mean, we tried our luck. That's probably the, the last chance that we will get before the end. What the hell? What the hell is even this? Okay, we still have the ball. Let's get it out to someone. Nice. Please score. No, we don't. And that's our last kick of the ball, basically. So we're going to be out for till further notice. I don't know when we're going to get to play again, but we're definitely not going to be playing in the, in the Champions League match next. 
Savino is going to be coming up for us. We end the match with 6.8 rating. That's the lowest rating we've had in a while. But um, I think we're going to lose the match. We do 2 1. Savino did score, so that is good for him. All right, so Champions League action next. What is the physio saying? I really hope that that injury is not going to be as bad as it seems. Is there anything on the news, though? There is nothing on the news so far. Victory for Arsenal in the Premier League derby against City. So, I mean, they had a, a good match. Message from physio. So, we're going to be out for five days. All right, so it's just a five day injury. Nothing to be scared about. I mean, that actually freaks me out to be honest but a massive defeat we're going to go for a heartbeat here and then read the messages from the whatever and um, what's this despite the loss against Arsenal, i believe my team has lost has, has lots to show and we'll get back to winning ways rodri is also back and kind of sucks that we're not going to be in this match and we also can't train though so let's just simulate the match and see if we we get a win here against salzburg i mean it should be an easy win Haaland and xavi get the goals then i think that we should be back in action here against wolves let me just check i'm not going to play the match though i just want to check if we're going to be playing yeah we are so that is good so let's do the training drill real quick we're not going to play the match though i'm going to end the episode here we are all the way back down to fourth sorry to sixth position uh that is crazy spurs and if 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 switch is second what are you telling me are you crazy Ipswich is freaking second all right but we already have seven goals in seven appearances this season seven four in the friendly and three in the premier league four in three i mean it's still it's still really good we actually didn't grow taller i forgot to increase his height but i think i'm actually going to leave him as five nine or i might just take him up to five ten a bit by next episode so yeah this is the end of the episode um thank you for watching if you've enjoyed it make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already let me know in the comments what you think about conrad zan's new hairstyle his tattoos and what you think about him in Manchester City so far were you scared about that injury too because i was <laughs> but anyways i'll see you in my next video peace